We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The New York Tyrants go up against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So, what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. You can't keep Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Third down and ten. Nice run for five yards. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You got to punt it here. Come on. A lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And now the quarterback is Kirk. And he breaks. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and ten. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And whoever said another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> First and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And like 
the Titanic. His ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And then catch will give them a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. his way on him and he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored nicely done hey man nobody can touch you an eyeball i take all you mutants out that's right hey what you talking about huh? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on bingo. Bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. Another interception. Easy give oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made in the dice, Grim. <laughs> It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy is super charged. Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. He could go all the way. He's at the 20. And the defense is on his heels. It's a touchdown. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. Did he get it? He scores! And with that amazing run, he first, they need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're gonna lose. Not like they need any help with that, though. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down, and we've got a defense head enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. Second down and nine. And he finds he's leaving a wake of destruction. He's at the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one in the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight and Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me on account of not clenching his cheek. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. And it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Oh, mama. 
Ah, just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First down and nine. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the concept of time is. Second down and long. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Catch. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile to his receiver. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Defense goal, rush speed. Man, that defender. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and three. And the runner is going to be breaking back, and he's off to the races. He's at the 10th. Touchdown! You want to do some butternut pie?
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him second down and six you know, one yard is better than nothing but not by much third down and five Kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just... The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Second down, and, eight. and that takes us to the two-minute warning. Second down and more than the QB would like. That's about a three-yard pickup. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Third down and nine. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that one? And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that is called for a first down. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Now 
or something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interest. And he's running. Oh, I know how to set another hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And it's first and ten. with the brutal hit. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and nine. <laughs> and he picks up eight yards on a strong run. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. They get their hands up and block a pass. And they'll line up for the punt here. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice kick. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. And he runs it for four yards. And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and six. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. Third down, and the punter is warming up. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Yes, huh? uh, we're gonna go to a strip tease show? Where we going? Ruin your world. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. What is this, 80s wrestling? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Oh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs, alcohol, narcotics, or insanity to anyone, but they've always worked for me. Second down in a lot. Third down and long. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. There's no reason to go for it here, but they do anyway.
They run it on fourth down and pick it up. That's oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. Bad guys, oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. You need to play smart from here on out. It's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And like Bricks is bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. Well, I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. is getting kills this is really a violent game guys the defense comes up with the ball his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score he's at the 20 the 10 oh man his neck vertebrae just got crunched sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips as they say at the deli who's next uh, uh, can i get a swiss on rye with uh no mustard And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and seven.
Third down, and the punter is warming up. He is fighting for every yard. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, it's a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is... A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. And it's first and ten. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Kabam! And the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Second down and ten. And oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Third down and six. Caught for the first down. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. And he's running like a moose right now. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Catch the 
ball, get the first down, and don't die. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast, and he bursts into the end zone for the score! What a run! Well, they say humans are the best dancers. Well, we invented dancing. Really? I thought it was demons. No, it was a human possessed by a demon. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. I'm a house camel on civil. I am a human on civil. Second down in a very lot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And that's another turnover for the defense. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object.
and two. Oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown at good man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big coat of where my tongue was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. Only two minutes left in the game. Second and three.